بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم لیڈیز اینڈ جنرل وی آر بیک وتھ کارپوریٹ گورننس ان دا پریویس سیشن وی ویر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دی اینگلو سیکسن ماڈل اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ اے ویری یونیک ماڈل اے ماڈل وچ ہیز اٹس اون ٹیکسچر ہیز اٹس اون نوینسز اینڈ آلسو اٹس اون ایڈیو سنکریسیز ناؤ دس ماڈل از دا جاپنیز ماڈل دا جاپنیز ٹین ٹو ڈو تھنگز ڈفرنٹلی ایف وی ٹاک اباؤٹ دیئر مینجمنٹ دے ہیو دا کائزن مینجمنٹ ماڈل وچ ہیز دا کائزن امبریلا and within that kaizen umbrella there is the 5s model there is the 3m model there is the qcc model and there is the tpm model and many other elements and we can go on and on about that now when we talk about the kaizen umbrella then it is basically entrenched in the kaizen philosophy and the kaizen philosophy is about continuous improvement through small steps and if we look at that whole philosophy it basically resonates and reflects این اسلامک کانسیپٹ آف بد قسمت ہے وہ شخص جس کا آج گزرے ہوئے کل سے بہتر نہیں سو دیٹ ہول فلاسفی از بیسڈ اپان دیٹ کانسیپٹ اینڈ دی سیکنڈ ون وچ از دی فائیو ایس ماڈل آف وچ کمپنیز آر بینگ انٹرنیشنلی سرٹیفائڈ از بیسکلی فائیو جاپنیز ورڈز سیری سیٹون سیسو شکیتسو شکوتسے ناؤ دیز فائیو جاپنیز ورڈز بیسکلی کنوٹ صفائی نس ایمان ہے دے ہیو institutionalized cleanliness in their institutions and that is why we see that the best products in the world are made by Japanese companies because they ensure the highest level of hygiene and, and cleanliness with continuous improvement of their product and services. Ladies and gentlemen, this same thing is also inculcated in their corporate governance model and when we are talking about the Japanese model then it has some very unique features just like the kaizen um, umbrella that i was talking about it has 17 different sub elements so the corporate governance model uh, of of japan also has that unique texture which we don't find anywhere else in the world and again because of that corporate governance model what we see is is that those companies have been able to collectively ensure some of the most optimal rates of performance and good governance in the world now when we talk about the japanese model it basically revolves around the philosophy of karetsu and today we are going to find out what does karetsu basically mean what does it stand for and what are its different components and how it is injected into the corporate governance framework and structure of japanese corporations so ladies and gentlemen we talk about the japanese model it's about the high level of stock ownership by affiliated banks and financial institution network so a very different element altogether a banking system characterized by strong long term links between bank and corporation and then just like i was saying promoting karetsu industrial groups linked by trading relationships as well as cross shareholdings of debt and equity board of directors comprising almost solely of insiders and equity financing is considered to be pivotal so ladies and gentlemen when we are talking about the japanese model of corporate governance based upon the philosophy of karetsu then it is about collectivism it is about togetherness it is about moving forward not in in cutthroat competition with each other but in collaboration with each other so the japanese believe in the philosophy of collaboration collaboration and collaboration whereby the strengths of different corporations and different uh, stakeholders and shareholders amalgamate together to ensure that the highest level of performance can be achieved and the best environment can be given within organizations all of you must be knowing that despite all the progress which has been made by japanese corporations they still in the 21st century believe in lifetime employment so they keep their employees with them and then they believe in another thing they believe in succession and that basically means that the most modern economy of the world still believes that if a good employee is leaving why not hire one of their uh, family members into the organization and therefore they create these bonds of loyalty and linkage which goes on from generation to generation based upon the philosophy of karetsu now when we are talking about karetsu then it basically is about how the different corporations and different stakeholders and shareholders collectively contribute to the very core of the top and strategic management and form a part of that so that is what 
it is all about it's about that cross shareholding of debt and equity so there could be different companies it could be mitsubishi it could be toyota it could be nissan uh, it could be uh, different other uh, companies uh, like um, the, the the bank of japan and others they they won't be competing with each other but they would be collaborating with each other they would have cross share holdings between each other and therefore they would be sharing their strengths and positivities with each other rather than pulling each other down they would be pushing everyone up, up the second thing which we see in this particular model is the element of strong uh, financial inputs and strong financial linkages whereby the banks are playing a major role in the strategy and in the long term outputs of a particular corporation so we see that everywhere it is characterized like that and then the third most important element is that there are inside directors which basically ensure that the shareholders are directors so they have a direct stake in the organization and it is not like a mix of between insider and outsider directors so these are the fundamental elements or the fundamental essence of the japanese model based upon the concept of karetsu now if we look at it a little bit more then we see that the main key players in this model are the main bank a major inside shareholder the affiliated company or karetsu a major inside shareholder the management and amazingly ladies and gentlemen the government interaction among these players serves to link relationships rather than balance powers as in the case of the anglo us model so ladies and gentlemen what we see is is that in the key players we we have sometimes even our own competitors as a part of it we have the financial institutions which would be the main bank and a very unique feature is is also the active participation of the government and therefore this whole box model which is created with with four major points basically interface with each other and ensure a more conducive environment of growth performance and productivity and as a result of that it also ensures that the the stakeholders and the shareholders also protect the rights of the employees within the organization because it is not only maximization of profitability but it is also ensuring that a conducive environment can be created whereby creativity innovation and productivity can be catalyzed and leveraged for the best possible results of that particular corporation and that is very contrary to the anglo-saxon model that we see because in that particular model it's more about balance of powers and in this one it is more about participation so moving further on uh, ladies and gentlemen we see that in the composition of the board of directors uh, the executive managers basically usually the head of different uh, major divisions of the company and its central head of study body are a part of the board of directors so we have that inside participation and we also have this level of motivation that employees can rise to become board members and even uh, the chairman of the corporation which is very motivating and tends to instill this level of loyalty within the different stakeholders of a particular corporation in japan the regulatory framework is very much influenced by the government and there are a lot of regulatory controls which ensure that all the rights and privileges of the stakeholders and shareholders are protected by the government and therefore the government does not uh, sit as a spectator but actively participates in the governance of different corporations uh, disclosure requirements again are similar to other models where there are agms where there are different annual reports where there are audits and all of that wide range of information is always present for uh, others to see how a particular organization is being governed Uh, then when we talk about corporate actions we basically see that shareholder influence is required and there are necessary for payments of dividends and allocation of reserves the election of directors and appointment of aud auditors and capital authorizations which is similar to the other models over here there is not too much of difference between the two and when we are seeing uh, the fifth element which is the interaction among players in the japanese model then there is a very high Uh, interaction between the different players to strengthen the relationship so ladies and gentlemen uh, concluding this particular uh, model what we see is that it is based upon the japanese philosophy of karetsu of cross uh, existential relationships of cross and mutual uh, cooperation and also of ensuring 
that rather than just the tripartite relationship, we also have the fourth element, which is the government, which plays a major role in this. And what we see is, is that the banks are also uh, playing a major role in the board by being an insider uh, board uh, member. And besides that, the most interesting thing is that rather than being competitive, it is a collaborative model. And that is the very essence of Kuretsu, which is the Japanese model of corporate governance. Thank you so much, everyone.